I gotta admit, I'm not super crazy about the way that's looking. I could go to a higher resolution map, but I think uh, I could mess with it a little bit more on our specular map. So, click that again, and click here. We're on our specular map, fortunately. I'm gonna come back here. Oh, I'm sorry, our normal map, what am I talking about? Normal, show me the normal map. There we go. Sometimes if you sing a little song to Blender, it, it, it treats you better. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this. Let's switch to paint. And uh, S to sample, make sure we got white. And we'll just erase those for now. And then N to bring back our brush. What am I going to do this time? So I'm going to drag this all the way back down to black. But then I'm going to lighten stroke. And I'm going to switch mine back to a curve. So by just lightening the strength quite a bit, what's going to happen is if I paint successively, it'll get darker and darker. That gives me a little bit more control as I do layers. It's kind of like using a, a magic marker, one on top of the other. F to shrink that. And uh, let's try that. So that edge does look a little bit better, I think. It's still a little bit uh, heavy. I can do Shift F and decrease the strength even further. And then. Uh, Artifact there. Let's see how successively I can make that deeper and deeper. This guy I wanted to be gone, so I'm going to sample the white. Undo S and paint white over here. Oh, need our strength up. And then we'll bring this back down. And we need it black again. Yeah, I like those those bite marks better. I want to do a little bit deeper in there. And obviously, if you uh, if you were to smudge things, oh look at this because of the angle. That's part of the problem. We should really paint. We should really be looking at what we're painting. So as the angle gets more and more uh, drastic, there you go. That's a that's a real deep. It's also the lighting, lighting hitting this angle. So then, last thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And then I'm just going to lighten it. If you hold the shift key, you can move in smaller increments. All right. So now, I've messed with the normal maps a little bit more. I've messed with the specular map. We need to save this, so we'll just do save image. And then we'll do a save as to seven. Notice it's not red anymore because that's a unique name. It's only red when there's a duplicate name that you're going to overwrite. <laughs> Let's do just a
tiny bit more painting on this pencil. Let's make sure we are on the color map. And we'll go from the front. Crawl in. And that looks really clean. So what we're gonna do is make it a little less clean. Make sure we're looking at our color map here too. Texture painting. Aha. Uh -huh. So a doll. There we go. And texture paint. S to sample. No, I want to sample this. S. And make my brush just a little smaller. And I kind of want to make it a hard brush. So I can just go up like that with our strength all the way up. I'm going to hit the six on the number pad and just rotate my view around a little bit. I don't like the way that went, so I'm going to go S to sample that yellow and just paint that up. to sample. Bring that down just a little bit like that. That looks a little better. I wouldn't mind a little scratch in the normal map either. So, oh, make sure. Alt S, because the images you have to save separately. realize I want a, a softer brush. One and over here. Hmm. Still a little too hard for me. Bring that down, bring the brush up a little bit. Too big. Bring down. doing that because my lid seems to have a little crack in it. Oh, I don't want to save yet. But it's definitely looking more pencil-like. And you can certainly do this on your own to your heart's content. Let's save. I know. I'm saving a lot. 